If this is the first time you are visiting our channel, make sure you subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you. Hey there viewers. Welcome to our channel. In today's video, we will talk about the top 3 mental health disorders that you should not ignore. Mental disorder or mental illness are interchangeable terms that are used daily. It is crucial that we do not ignore our mental health in our daily life while getting distracted by so many things. The majority of people view mental disorder as a taboo subject because of fear of appearing weak and vulnerable in front of others, which is why mental health disorder is not spoken about openly. Talking openly about mental health is crucial, and even Prince Harry is teaming up with Oprah on a documentary series about mental health. Here are some numbers that you should know regarding the three mental health and mental disorders we are covering in this video. In the United States, anxiety disorders affect 40 million adults. This is according to Anxiety and Depression of Association of America. Bipolar disorder affects approximately 5.7 million adult Americans. And this is according to the Depression and Bipolar Support Alliance. Eating disorder affects approximately 30 million Americans, according to the National Association of Anorexia Nervosa and Associated Disorders. Taking care of our mental health is vital because it affects how we think, feel or behave. It affects our mood, decision-making and our ability to relate to others and function each day. Mental disorders can affect a person for the short term or the long term. Here are some questions that we will be covering in this video. Please watch till the end to learn all about them. Number 1. What are the top 3 mental disorders that you should not ignore? Number 2. What are the signs and symptoms of each one of them? Number 3. What are some of the severe complications of anorexia? Number 4. What are the top 6 tips that you should implement to provide the best possible care for your mental health? First, let's talk about anxiety disorder. We all know that having some levels of anxiety is a normal part of our daily life. However, when anxiety is intense, excessive, and out of control, or when a person experiences persistent worry or fear about everyday situations, this is when anxiety becomes a big problem. This is because these feelings of anxiety may lead to panic attacks and even more serious health problems. So, what are some examples of anxiety disorders? Some examples of anxiety disorders include Number 1. Generalized anxiety disorder Number 2. Specific phobias, which is an unreasonable fear of objects, situations or events. Number 3. Social anxiety disorder, also called social phobia. Number 4. Separation anxiety disorder, which is an intense sadness or difficulty concentrating when we are away from loved ones or when our loved ones are out of reach. What are some of the signs and symptoms of anxiety? Some signs and symptoms of anxiety may include Number 1. Feeling nervous and restless Number 2. Having a sense of imminent danger Number 3. Feeling tired and weak Number 4. Trouble concentrating or thinking Number 5. Difficulty sleeping Number 6. Having an increased heart rate. Number 7. Breathing rapidly, sweating, or trembling. Now let's talk about the second mental disorder that we are covering in this video, and that is bipolar disorder. So, what is bipolar? Bipolar disorder, also called manic depression, is a mental illness characterized by having high and low moods. For example, a person may feel extremely happy and energized, 
and then a change of mood occurs where a person feels very sad, hopeless and experiences loss of interest or pleasure in most activities. How does bipolar affect a person? Bipolar affects a person's judgment and thinking, energy, sleep patterns, and it changes how a person perceives the outside world. It also affects how a person interacts or relates to other people. This mental health condition is mostly treated with medications and psychotherapy or psychological counseling. What are some signs of bipolar? Some signs of bipolar include Number 1. Mood swings, which are emotional highs such as mania or hypermania, and emotional lows such as depression. Number 2. Wakefulness or a decreased need for sleep. Or the opposite effect, which is needing to sleep too much. Number 3. Feeling restless or experiencing impulsive restlessness. Number 4. Feeling tired or loss of energy. Number 5. Feelings of laziness or inappropriate guilt. Number 6. Difficulty to think, concentrate or make decisions. Number 7. Actively thinking about suicide. This is by planning it or attempting it while having a preoccupation with death. Now let's talk about the last mental disorder that we are covering today in this video, which is anorexia. Anorexia is a mental disorder associated with an intense fear of gaining weight. This is when the perception of weight is distorted. People who suffer from anorexia follow strict and unrealistic diet plans, where they restrict themselves to the amount of food they eat to control their calorie intake. Also, one of the strategies they use is vomiting after eating, or by abusing laxatives, diuretics or enemas. People with anorexia disorder may suffer from inadequacy, low self-esteem, anxiety, anger or loneliness. Their body image is so distorted that it doesn't matter how much weight is lost, they remain in fear of weight gain. Anorexia, like any other mental disorder, can control your life and consume your energy. And if it is not treated at early stages, it can be very difficult and challenging to overcome. Unfortunately, our society emphasizes thinness and considered it a sign of success and worth in society. The problem is that when society dictates an unrealistic perfection view, which is if you are not thin enough, you are not good enough. The most affected people by eating disorders such as anorexia are teenagers because peer pressure fuels the desire to be thin, especially among young girls. Now let's talk about some signs and symptoms of anorexia. So what are some signs and symptoms of anorexia? Some signs and symptoms of anorexia include Number 1. Not eating meals regularly or constantly skipping meals, or refusing to eat. Number 2. Exercising too much. Number 3. Making excuses for not eating and denying hunger. Number 4. Focusing on eating foods that are low in fat and calories. Number 5. Spitting food out after chewing them. Number 6. Self-induced vomiting to get rid of the food. Number 7. Refraining from eating in public and exhibition of social withdrawal behavior. Number 8. Weighing the body frequently. Number 9. Constantly in front of the mirror to examine the body for perceived flaws. If you or your loved ones are experiencing any of the signs or symptoms listed above, make sure you get help as soon as possible. So, don't delay any treatment offered or prescribed by your doctor. Anorexia can lead to so many complications, can be fatal, and death may occur suddenly at any time, especially if a person is severely underweight. 
Now let's talk about some of the complications of anorexia. So, what are some of the complications of anorexia? Some of the complications of anorexia may include Number 1. Anemia, which is low levels of iron in your body. This is because of food restriction intake on a daily basis. Number 2. Heart failure and kidney problems. Number 3. Osteoporosis, which is the bone loss that may lead to the risk of fractures. Number 4. Absence of a period in females. Number 5. Decreased testosterone in males. Number 6. Chronic constipation or feeling of nausea. Number 7. Low mineral levels such as sodium, potassium and calcium. So, how would you provide the best care possible for your mental health? Here are some tips that you or your loved ones can implement when suffering from mental health disorder. Number 1. Express your feelings to people you trust. Make sure don't keep them to yourself because there are many people who are willing to help or have had experience with mental health that you are going through. Number 2. Ensure you seek professional help and don't try to deal with your mental health issues by yourself as you will be overwhelmed and it will drain your energy. Number 3. Keep active and integrate regular exercises into your daily life. This will surely boost your self-esteem, increase your concentration, improve your sleep patterns, and keep your brain and your other essential organs healthy, all of which help improve your mental health. Number 4. Integrate a healthy diet into your meals. Like other organs in your body, your brain needs all kinds of nutrients in order to stay healthy and function well. Number 5. Accept and appreciate who you are and feel good about yourself. This will boost your confidence and will help you be sociable and not live a lonely life. Number 6. Focus on your strengths instead of your weaknesses and do the things that you are good at. One of the strategies that you can use is answering these questions, which will surely help you navigate through your mental illness and therefore boost your self-esteem. What do you love doing? What are you most passionate about? What did you love doing in the past that you can continue doing today? Now it is your turn. How do you proactively take care of your mental health? What are some tips you could share with us to best care for our mental health? Please share your experience in the comments below. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you 